and then we'll Off his robes and naked doth his body shine. His beauty strikes Alasis in her ardent eye, inflaming her with sudden passion. Barely can she restrain her desire to run and take him there. Behind William, Rosalind writhed lasciviously. Ere he claps his hollow hands against his naked flesh, raises arms, and into the water dies. And with that, he mimed Hermaphroditus' fateful dive into the pool of Salmasus. Imagine, if you will, our stagecraft here, a simple trick of azure water made of fabric from young Tyler's shop flowing by. Hermaphroditus swims before it, his arms flashing white. Salmasus cries aloud, Oh! Rosalind moaned, and spraying clothes aside, naked casts herself into the pool. As Rosalind mimed diving into the Pool, Arthur Codry heckled again. Naked, he said. She envelops him, holds him, and struggle though he might, escape he is denied. Beneath the waves their bodies entwine, flesh pressing into flesh, and Salmasus cries unto the gods. Rosalind, now wrapped around William, standing on one toe, one leg about his waist, cried to the heavens, Gods, hear me! Grant my prayer that this unholy, willful boy shall never from me sundered be. William, still in Rosalind's arms, turned his face out to the audience. And the gods, good gentles, did grant indeed her prayer, joining their bodies in one, yet leaving privy members twain. And Hermaphroditus, once a manly youth, beholding what he had become, soft and yielding, cursed all else who bathed in those waters clear to share his fate. And so it is, my friends, that if you bathe, beware towards what ends. And with that, still entwined, William and Rosaline kissed. Their audience stood, cheered, lifted their cups, clanked them together and drained them, all except for the fuming Davy Jones, who felt Arthur Codry nudge him again in the ribs. William's play even managed to end with a couplet, Codry said. Anthony Mondays did not. On the stage, Rosalind leaned close into William's ear. You, William Shakespeare, she whispered under the applause, ought not to enact the minor role of country schoolmaster, but rather a player, poet, and by God's very prick, I prithee, a lover. 